Hello and welcome to the Frontier Community. I'm Loud Guns, and this vid serves as a quick intro to our community and the organisation behind it, Frontier Consolidated. Frontier is a melting pot, and we welcome anyone and everyone from across SC. As long as you can agree to follow the rules, we're happy that you're here, regardless of your playstyle or your background. Please take a minute to read these, they're all important, but I would like to highlight a couple from the get-go. First up, don't be a dick. This was always our first rule and it's lasted from a discord of 20 members to one of more than 2,500. Everyone can have a bad moment where they lose their cool. Games get like that, they get the adrenaline pumping at times. But just remember that an apology goes a long way, and so does accepting one when it's offered to you. Keep in mind that we're a truly global community, and cultural differences exist in the way people communicate. So my default setting is that someone probably didn't intend to offend. It's okay to tell them that they did, or you can speak to a mod and we'll do it for you. But when it comes to reacting, try not to go from 0 to 100 yourself. The second one I want to call particular attention to, absolutely no hate speech. To be clear, this isn't just a list of words you can't say, it's also about accepting other people and making this a cool place to hang out for everyone who wants to. I've personally played games for longer than I care to admit, and while they are responsible for some of the best social experiences I've had, I do end up shaking my head sometimes at the effect a bit of anonymity and a keyboard has on some people. The sad truth is that if you aren't a cis white guy, a lot of gaming communities can be pretty toxic places, and we won't tolerate what we've built here turning into that. If you can't accept this and get on board, then this is the point you can just show yourself out. I'm really happy to say that we've never had to be heavy handed with moderation, but I think that's because we're clear from the start that this is a corner of the internet that revolves around mutual respect. Right, so that's enough about rules. Uh, so as well as being a great way to meet fellow citizens and discuss every aspect of Star Citizen, a big part of our mission within Frontier is to give players a decent taste of multiplayer action. It's more than possible to trundle around Stanton solo, but honestly if you forget the massively multiplayer aspect of the MMORPG, then you're missing out. Thanks to an amazing group of officers and volunteers, we run several events a week, ranging from large-scale mining ops, to PvP training nights, to race days and social events, to whatever on earth this was. Regardless of skill or experience, you're welcome to come along and get involved, and we'll just find a seat for you. Events are a fantastic way to learn a new loop or share your skills with a fellow citizen. And if there's money to be made, then we're going to make sure it gets split evenly. So if you're a new player, it's a great way to take home a decent payday, particularly before you've maybe managed to unlock some of the more expensive ships. Everything coming up in terms of events will be listed in the Community Events channel. We use an app called Sesh to allow signups. It's not essential, you can always just turn up at the start time and hop in. But it does help us to get set up if we know roughly how many people are coming. And Sesh is also pretty useful for you because it will take whatever the timings for the event are and spit them out in your local time zone. Outside of official events, there's also usually plenty going on, so VCs or the voice channels are open for anyone to hop into and say hello, and folks will do their best to get you into a pickup group. English is the official language of the group, but we have a global base, so on behalf of all of the native English speakers, I will quickly say nobody should ever apologise for their ability to speak our language. I for one, aside from knowing how to order two beers in Spanish, French, German, Russian and Scottish, have zero language skills so you don't need to ever apologise or be embarrassed. Sitting at the core of the Frontier community is our org, Frontier Consolidated. There's absolutely no pressure to join up with us, and if you just want to hang out, chat and pop into events, this isn't going to stop you at all. But we do believe that what we have here provides a perfect foundation to build an organisation up off. I've played in a variety of guilds, corps and clans, and I always found it a bit difficult to find one with the right feel. On the one hand I enjoyed being part of a small group who all knew each other and could fit into one voice channel, because that's where you find some of the best camaraderie in gaming. But then when you get towards endgame in an MMO you start to realise that you don't have the resources to access a whole bunch of content. The ethos behind Frontier is to build something large enough to play in the big leagues without giving up the spirit of a smaller organisation. And don't forget that this extends to me as well. So I was an org leader here before I was a YouTuber, the YouTube thing came out of this. So if you've got something on your mind or you just want to have a chat, do feel free to drop me a DM or grab me in a voice channel. From time to time I'm known to sleep, but I will do my best to get back to you. 
Similarly, I think it's hard sometimes to find the right balance between casual and hardcore gaming. Our members vary a lot in terms of the amount of time they can put towards gaming, but we have something in common, that real life comes first. Most of us have jobs and families, and I will never ask anyone to put being in this org ahead of remaining happy and healthy outside of it. I personally like that when I sit down to play, I can do it with people who've found the Goldilocks zone of taking things seriously. We know how to have a laugh and enjoy ourselves, but we also know that sometimes getting a bit more focused and organised can deliver great results. If you've watched some of my vids, you'll probably know that I personally think EVE Online offers some of the best read across for what Star Citizen could become in the future. With a bit of luck, we'll leave some of EVE's grimmer features behind, but the most important thing I think we can pick up is the importance of combining expertise within one org. Star Cit offers a huge canvas, with a diverse choice of ways to make it out amongst the stars. But the more you start looking at it, the more the loops start to converge, and opportunities to find synergies emerge. You can only get so far into a loop when it becomes obvious that you'd benefit from assistance from someone with a different set of skills. And to this end, Frontier Consolidated operates across five divisions. XI, Industrial, Legion, Logistics and Support. XI covers exploration and science, leading the way in finding unique resources we can take advantage of. And keeping this in-house is going to make it far more possible for us to find and exploit assets without other orgs getting wind. While having a dedicated group of explorers can be a distinct advantage for the org, it isn't all about finding shiny rocks to mine. Sometimes it's just about heading out into the black for no other reason than to see what's there. Speaking of shiny rocks, industrial is the economic core of the org, incorporating heavy industries such as mining, salvage, refining and construction. It's going to be essential for a diverse org to have a strong economic base to build off, and thankfully we have a number of dedicated economically focused players in the org, who are always on the lookout for better ways to make that sweet sweet space cheddar. Legion is the combat wing of the org, ensuring our security and leading on offensive combat operations. As the name suggests, I intend for Frontier Consolidated to be pushing out into some of the more dangerous areas of the verse, and every member of the Orc who is willing will be able to learn how to fight, but Legion represents our more professional military aspect. Logistics handles haulage, trade, and more generally works to ensure that we're well prepared and supplied for missions. As the game develops in terms of complexity, logistics is going to become a more and more important part of Ops, and for this reason I think logistics is really the glue that's going to be holding things together. And finally, support ensures that there's always someone to pick you up when you're down. This is one of the best things about being in an org really, knowing that even when you're out at the edge of the verse, there's going to be someone who'll come and get you if things go wrong. The game's always going to put you on your ass at some point, so we'll make sure that when this happens you know help's on the way. While the divisions help us get some structure to the org, we want to be clear that we're one org, not five living under the same roof. Once we start seeing some of the large and capital ships coming online, these are likely to be crewed up by members from across all of the org. So being a member of a certain division just lets us see where people intend to focus. But it's not going to stop you mixing and matching your gameplay. SE is very early on in its development, so really I would encourage people to get out and try as much of what's on offer as possible. There's more to SC than the loops covered by the main divisions as well, and something we're excited to get off the ground is a competitive element to Frontier. Frontier Racing is our first official competitive team, so if you're a stone cold tumbrel driver or pretty nippy through the rings of old Vanderville, be sure to clock in some times and see if you can make the cut. There is one major game loop that we don't cover though, and that's piracy. I love that piracy exists in Star Citizen, and I think it's an important thing to have in game but for obvious reasons we can't have pirates in our org. If that's your main loop, then by all means feel free to hang out in the community and get involved in the chats, it's genuinely great to hear your point of view. Just do me a favour and don't use the community events as soft targets for your nefarious activities. First, you're not really doing yourself any favours using your ability to read a message in Discord as a crutch. Piracy demands skills, so try and learn to hunt prey for real. And secondly, you might find they're not such soft targets after all, and I'd be really sad if you had to spend your evening in Clesher. So if this all sounds good to you and you're looking for where to sign, that's awesome, but just hold on a sec. 
We started Frontier with a focus on community, and getting to know your org mates is really important to us. Building an org for SE is a marathon, not a sprint, and we don't want to lose the spirit of the org just to grow it as quickly as possible. You can show your interest by marking yourself as a prospect, just head to the prospects channel and react to the message there with a tick to give yourself the discord role. You can also head over to Spectrum and drop an app to Frontier Consolidated. We're happy to admit anyone who's looking to join as an affiliate of the org. There's no time or commitment requirements, and if you're in another org that doesn't conflict with the main one, like a small group of mates you also hang out with, that's absolutely fine. But we do ask if you're joining up to Frontier that it's your main org, and where you get to spend the majority of your game time. As an aside, I'm always happy to talk to officers and members of other orgs about collaborating on events, etc. But just fair warning that at this stage of the game I'm happy to build relationships, but not alliances. SC just isn't ready for this yet, and it's better to see where the chips fall before having those discussions. In the application channel that will appear once you're a prospect, there's a link to our short app form. Don't worry, it's minimalistic. Uh, I once had to fill in a seven pager, and I'm not going to wish that upon anybody. There's just space here to tell us a bit about yourself and what you're looking forward to doing most in game. But the key part of the application is that you'll need two references from members of the org. Hop into events and get yourself into the lounges to get to know some of your future org mates. And then when you're ready to apply, just reach out to some of the folks you've played with and ask if they're happy to ref for you. We don't expect anyone to be a total pro before they join the org, but it's best to make sure people have got a decent grasp of the basics. Don't be offended if someone asks you to like fly a bit more with them first before they'll ref for you. Something I do want to be crystal clear on, the ships that you have don't matter. I've yet to meet a Starship player who doesn't geek out over ships, and I'm not knocking you if you've sunk a chunk of change into the game. But what you've put in your hangar with real world cash simply isn't my priority. An orc is about the people in it, not the ships in the fleet. And we can grind to buy anything we want in game, and I sincerely hope that at the end of the day there are things that money simply can't buy. Those are the types of challenges that we're really interested in and trying to build an orc for. You don't have to have anything other than an account and a starter ship to get into the org, and we don't hand out any special treatment to people who have more than that. One of the great things about playing in a big group is there's plenty of ships out there, and they'll need crew to make them work, so don't ever feel like you must buy something for the org or have a desire to keep up with anyone else. I guess the final thing I want to say is always remember to have fun. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You know, we've been running Frontier for about 18 months at the time of recording, and I for one have had an absolute blast. We're in an alpha, and in all likelihood we're going to be in it for some time yet. We're not taking anything with us through to live other than experience and the friends we make. So if you find yourself getting frustrated or things aren't working out, just stop and take a minute. Find someone who's just getting started and offer them a hand, or go and try out something outside of your comfort zone. There are plenty of folks here who'd be happy to help you out sharpening your skills up in something new. And thanks for taking the time to watch this welcome vid, and I hope you have a great time within the Frontier community and potentially Frontier Consolidated. And I for one look forward to catching up with you out in the black.